The family of a Sydney graffiti vandal jailed yesterday says the magistrate has been too harsh. They say 12 months behind bars is too long for defacing trains, but many others believe the 18-year-old got what he deserved. They are boys. Hurry up, Matty. All juveniles except Matthew Sale. He turned 18 just before this rampage, an adult now doing adult time. A year in prison, his family says it's too much. He's already served three months in there which is, I think, is long enough for him. In January, Sale and his graffiti gang even stopped a train. Get off the track! At Kingswood, they stole a driver's keys. You like our panel bounce? <laughs> they defaced the insides of carriages as well at Penrith, Warrington, Richmond. They're probably trying to make an example of him. Would that be effective, though? Do you think that would discourage other graffiti vandals from doing what they do? No. No. It's going to always happen. It's the second time in three months Magistrate Ian McRae has ordered a graffiti vandal be jailed. While Magistrate Ian McRae's graffiti rulings might seem excessive compared to other magistrates, they seem to be right on community expectations, judging by every single commuter we spoke with today. It's pretty harsh, but it's still fair. I think it should be a bit more than that. We've got to keep paying to clean it off. It should be zero tolerance with everything. The opposition agrees. $100 million a year at present just to clean up the mess and very few people are caught doing it. Matthew Sale's family does agree, however, jail can be a good teacher. Will he do it again, do you think? No. Robert Ovadia, 7 News.